just break down the fights. I know, just what did you think calling these fights? Um, I thought we had some good fights. Um, a couple stand out to me on the undercard. Um, I think Amado Vargas had a good performance. Um, Ruben Villa was the star of the night, aside from John Abek. For me, I think in his first top rank fight, um, in his first you know, fight back here in his hometown after only one fight in the last two years, I think he looks really great. Uh, and then John Abek just did what we thought he was going to do. I didn't think it was going to end that early, um, but I saw him winning by knockout in my mind, and he did it in spectacular fashion in our main event. Do you think it's good for boxers like Jen and Big, I mean, that do away with these guys like in one or two rounds, or do you think it's better for them to at least get three or four rounds in so they can get some work so they don't get accustomed to having them early stoppages so just in case they don't get an early stoppage, they prepare themselves to go more rounds? Well, I was okay with what he did tonight because he actually went all the rounds and, uh, in his last fight with Denzel Bentley. And then the knock was, oh, he didn't get that guy out of there. He's not levels above. So tonight it's going to be, oh, he didn't get the rounds in. Maybe, he, you know, like he needed to get more work in. So, I mean, sometimes it's hard, you know, for boxing fans. They're never satisfied either way. But I think against this level of opponent tonight, he did exactly what he was supposed to do. And I am I am cool with how he handled business. Um, one last question. Sure. Just sure. break down next week's event. I know you can't predict the winner, but yeah. just break it down. Um, Haney Loma, I'm really looking forward to it. You've got two elite fighters that have a tremendous amount of boxing skills. They have power, they, their footwork, their angles. Uh, it, it's just two elite fighters fighting at the highest level. When all the belts are on the line, it doesn't get any better than that. I do think uh, Haney's size is going to be a major factor in this fight. I think he's going to be huge on the night of the fight, and I'll be interested to see how well uh, Lomachenko can deal with that, but also Devin Haney hasn't fought anybody at the level of Vasily Lomachenko in his career to this point. So, uh, you know, I'd be interested to see with how, how he handles his skills and ability, but nonetheless, it's a huge event when all the belts are on the line. That's the kind of fights that boxing fans want and need, and uh, I'm here for it, and I can't wait. All right, thank you, Christina. Tell all the fans how to get in contact with you. Just plug your social media sure. accounts you. and everything. Yeah, Christina Poncher on Instagram and Twitter. Um, yeah, I mean, that, that's about it. Yeah. Right, thank you. Easy. Thanks.